Uh, Sarah will be presenting uh, speech number eight of the Confident Communicator. The title of her speech is In a Vegetative State. And she is to present a speech that uses some visual aids. Visual aids selected must be appropriate for her message and audience and be displayed correctly with ease and confidence. She is to incorporate what she, what she what she's learned in previous projects about the purpose and organization, word uses, body language, and vocal varieties. She's also to use appropriate suggestions from evaluations received and thoroughly received uh, research her subject. Uh, Sarah Norman. Castings, and and the, what the castings do 
they break up the nutrients and they make it much easier for your plants to absorb. So worms are really good for your garden. We are pretty cheap, so we, we have a lot of these different ways that we add nutrients. A lot of people just head out to Home Depot and buy nutrients, which you can do too. And, um, and, and we do that every once in a while, but we go with, we go with this first, and, and then we go that route. You can, you can actually buy nutrient-rich soil at Home Depot or any store like that. The way we get it all into the soil and into our garden each year is we, we usually rent or borrow a roto, rototiller and just get in there and mix the soil all up. And, and not only does that mix the soil, but it also puts oxygen in the soil. A lot of people think that plants just need carbon dioxide, but they really benefit a lot from oxygen as well. So fluffing up that soil a bit is really great for your plants and it's great for, you, for the food that you're looking to get out of it later. The second thing I want to talk about is getting your plants on the right watering schedule. We've learned a lot of lessons with this over the last few years because we've underwatered and killed things, we've overwatered and killed things, and then my least favorite one is it's in number two on your on your picture sheet. Is we water we didn't water regularly and we got these little stretch marks on our tomatoes. That's what I always call them because. It, it's kind of like the stretch marks I'm getting right now. <laughs> when when you don't water for a while and then you do, the tomato grows too fast and you get those those little blemishes, I guess you would call it. So um, we've done that. We, we've ensured that we're on a regular watering schedule by putting in a drip line. It releases the water slow. It it makes sure that it goes in deep and evenly. And and that's the third picture on there. Is it, that kind of looks a little bit like our drip line set up. So watering regularly, watering slow, it's going to give you the best, the best product. And finally, the last thing I've had to learn about gardening is patience. I, over the past few years, would be, as soon as I get home, I run out into the garden to see if our tomatoes have turned red yet, and, and it's just weeks and weeks, I would just always be disappointed, and my husband's like, dear, you have to have patience. So that's where that backyard hammock has come in handy. I can lay out there, relax, and eventually we have just ended up with the most fruitful garden, and I'll pass around some pictures from our garden last year. It, it, it really just, the, it really pays off at the end of the day. Um, it, it, it's wonderful. We have great food, better than farmer's market, better than the grocery store, and we have the satisfaction of knowing that we grew it ourselves. You too can participate in gardening, as I mentioned earlier, and I really encourage you to get out and do it. This weekend, the city of Reno is putting on their annual seedling sale at the Great, the Great Basin Food Co-op, and um, they sell a bunch of seedlings for a different plants, you, you name it, and they're really cheap, and it's just, it's a, a really great opportunity to get out here and try some of this stuff for yourself. So, thank you.